Hilda's request update is incoming very soon. It's currently live on the PTB. But did you know there were some secret brand new raids? Might seem pretty obvious, but yes, with the brand new mini bosses added to the game, there's a bunch more raids. Now, the person that told me about this was Erica Kant Game. Let's go and check her out. She does a bunch of Valheim as well as some other games, but guides and a Let's Play series in the saga of Trev. So go and give her a subscription and help a small tuber grow. You can find her channel link in the comment section. So yeah, she dropped me a message and said, yeah, they've added three new raids all to do with the bosses. And yep, it's exactly what you might imagine. Any time you go and defeat one of the new bosses in the new dungeons or the locations, you then have a chance of these events happening. So they will absolutely wreck your base. They're extremely powerful, much more powerful than any of the other kind of raids I think we've ever had. Obviously, they are boss or mini boss style creatures. I'm going to briefly run down what to expect with all three. Let's go. So the command line for this is event, leave a space, Hilda boss one. And yep, it summons the boss from the smouldering tomb in the Black Forest, Brenner. It'll also go ahead and summon more level one star skeletons, as well as a rancid remains. So it looks like while the event is active, it will keep summoning the skeletons, but it won't keep summoning the actual boss. So you don't have to panic about having to defeat Brenner three or four times. Obviously the events are still pretty short. Roughly lasts around a minute 30 for the event. More skeletons and rancid remains will carry on spawning during the events. Don't try taking that too much. Obviously I've done guides on these bosses already, Brenner and the one that you find in the ice cave. But I didn't actually end up publishing the third boss as I kind of want to wait till the update hits everyone. Still don't know when that's exactly going to happen. Devs are on holiday or taking some time off, some of them, but some of them are still working. So it's still probably going to be a few weeks. In terms of loot, this will offer you the opportunity to keep getting some of the trophies. So for whatever reason, if you've lost the Brenner trophy or any of the other mini bosses, well now you've got a way that you can still pick them up in case you might need them for the future or you just want to have more to decorate your base with. No changes to the mini boss, it's got exactly the same health levels, attacks and stuff as the previous two. And there you go, that is the new event that you can get. It doesn't look like there's any other requirements other than that you must have completed that mini boss encounter. So you might want to think on about that before taking it on. Have you got enough defenses just in case it triggers? When it's finished, it'll pop up she got burnt. Next event, of course, is when you've gone and defeated the mountain um, dungeon and mini boss Gahafa, and it will be you get the chills. This is a pretty tough one. I've got to put on god mode and uh, just summons a bunch of Fenring as well as a cultist and of course Gahafa as well. At least three or four Fenrir, and obviously maybe more will spawn if you go ahead and kill them too early. What makes this particularly hard is the fact that it does obviously come with a cultist, which I don't think you necessarily have if you find the Huffer's actual tomb. There have been some issues at the moment during the PTB testing where some of the bosses were spawning in some or lots of the mountain caves, but they are only really meant to spawn in their own specific one. And obviously there's two on each map, I do believe. So mixing up your weapons and styles to deal with a fire giving enemy as well as then a cold one, yeah that's a bit more challenging alongside the Fenring. Exactly the same event code if you want to spawn try it for yourself as the first one, instead of a one at the end you replace it with a two. I do believe this is the first time you have Fenring attacking your base and they can do quite a lot of damage especially with so many of them. So if you're not aware or you're trying to just hold it out, yeah you've got to be thinking carefully have your defenses got enough to stop them. And just like the other events as well, they won't just disappear once the event's over, you will have to finish the job. So even more reason to make sure you've got turrets and blisters set up around your base. And then the third and final event of course is when you've gone and done the tower in the plains. This is They Were Bros Man, a bunch of fuelings obviously going to spawn and of course the fueling mini boss. So the fuelings shouldn't be too difficult to take on but again the other new mini boss creature has obviously got its defenses just like it has and it can do a quite formidable amount of damage if it's close enough to your base and you haven't got enough. And just like it is with the mini boss fight if you take on or kill the big fueling goblin first then the shaman will still be running around on his own and it's still quite challenging. One thing to note when they are dead, or I did find there was more gold coins. I can't remember if the fuelings dropped gold coins. I thought it was only ever black metal. But yeah, there was a ton of coins also on the floor. So there we go. Three new events to tie in with the new mini bosses. 
And yeah, obvious tip, make sure you've got your defenses well in hand just in case these spawn once you've gone and defeated them. Obviously, as soon as we get word of the PTB going live for everyone, Hilda's request, I'll let you know. And of course, I'll have a recap video of any new changes that were found during testing and feedback stage. I do know that they are looking at the clothing for sure. They've mentioned it a couple of times in streams and chats that they are definitely looking to improve it. So expect some changes with the cosmetic stuff that you're gonna see as rewards to help you as you adventure through the game. And that's it, until next time, Rat Bags, laters.